Hey y'all, it's your beekeeper here. So, hey, keep it down, I'm making a video in here. Hey, quit coughing. Okay, what are we doing? Oh, I'm doing the table saw work because I don't need my daughter losing any of her fingers. But I've got this scrap mahogany laying around and we wanted to build, or she wanted to build a trebuchet for physics day. There were a couple different projects you could build. Uh, this one being the one that interested her, so she and I set forth. They encourage you to use recycled materials. You can't buy it from a kit. You've got to build it completely from scratch. They want you to use materials that were accessible to those in the medieval time. So we built ours all entirely out of wood. We used mahogany. I had some hardwood. I knew it had to maintain a rigid frame in order to be accurate. And the gauge this trebuchet is uh, judged on accuracy and distance. And uh, well, I wanted both, right? Because that's just the way I play. I don't play for second place. So, I had this mahogany laying around. I'm teaching her how to do these half notches. She's never worked with any of these power tools really before. She's an eighth grader. And uh, she will be competing against middle school kids. Seventh and eighth grade kids. So, we're dry fitting everything here. Hey, where do we go? Oh, there I am. Teaching her how to use the speedy square. And uh, this is kind of the design we came up with. All out of mahogany and uh, it's pretty cool. She's never used a sander like this either. I'm trying to show her some technique so she doesn't grind her fingerprints off too bad. She actually did a pretty good job on this. So I showed her a couple... I'm working here. Yeah, people just walking by me all the time. So then she gets to use the bandsaw. <laughs> you potato head. <laughs> good golly, I get nothing but grief. I'm sorry. Yeah, no you're not. That's all right. So we want to make all the edges nice and clean because running it through the saw... Dude, really? You gonna load the dishwasher now? God, <laughs> see the abuse I take? You see this? Golly. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Okay, stop talking. No, not yet. Uh, so then she gets to use a drill press, which is kind of neat. So what we did, we did use glue because glue is acceptable. And I pinned it as well as glued it. I showed her how to do it. And we're drilling eighth, in ho eighth inch holes through the wood putting a little bit of wood glue and then we're using bamboo skewers the same kind of skewers that you would uh, shish kebab on sheesh and uh, tapping them in there nice and tight which is pretty cool and then she gets to use that finish saw which she had a never-ending uh, never-ending problems with that for some reason so here we go drilled several several holes she gets to glue she gets to hammer I really wanted her to build the absolute majority of this device with just a little bit of my guidance because like I said she's never used any of these power tools before and she got to use just about everything everything but the table saw because uh, the table saws are sketchy even for responsible adults like me to use yeah responsible adult so here she is making everything pretty sanding the edges pretty fun now we're gonna be throwing a uh, foam golf ball a practice golf ball is what we will be throwing for competition uh, of course we threw just about everything else we could fit inside this thing all natural materials so the rope that we're using for the trebuchet is a sisal rope we'll show you that in a little bit and then the sling that the ball rides in is a hundred percent cotton denim and uh, it's pretty cool and of course of course as a lubricant for the throwing arm we use fluid film because fluid film is a lanolin wool wax based lubricant which is uh, derived from sheep tallow and wool wax and all stuff that would be available for medieval times. They had, they were able to render down tallows and animals. And here she goes cutting stuff. Look at her. Look at her go. And it took us uh, more than one day to do this because we opted for not using nails or screws. So we had to build it in stages. We had to make sure the base here, she got very familiar with this palm sander, which she turned out to not really like. But, you know, what are you going to do? Um, so I was saying we build this stuff in stages because we build the base and we'd have to let it dry overnight and then we come back in and here's where the uprights start coming together. Um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. We want to make sure everything was level and square, perfectly square. Like I said, uh, that's the key to consistent and accurate long distance. So that, that's the key to accuracy and distance is to have a good rigid frame. We got to use the uh, variable, variable speed square. 
scroll saw. Scroll saw. She didn't particularly care for this one either. It was it was kind of hard for her to handle, but you know, suck it up. This is your physics project. So this is the arm. This is the throwing arm, and uh, I wanted some rigid piece of material. So well, I've got a bunch of these little bits of mahogany laying around, and I showed her how we wanted to shape it, just to make it look finished. Pretty cool. Pretty cool indeed. So here we'll put it back together. We kind of were trying to figure out some ideas on where we would have the fulcrum. Neither of us have built these before. And then here's the hardwood dowel that we're using as a horizontal pin that holds that in. And we're shaping it. And I'll show you in the next series of videos. And here I'm in expounding some wisdom on her. On her. Look at how excited she is. Oh. And here's a fun picture of her last summer pooped out. She was helping me go collect some firewood driving around in the old 46 and she was worn out and took a little nap in the truck. I just got a kick out of this picture. I thought I'd show you. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part two.